edition of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good day, folks. Welcome to the January 21st, the Foster's Friday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. This is your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us not to us. That's right, when you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is gonna toss at us. Now today, you and I, we're gonna go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon, but really it's just past eight o'clock in the morning. So if you are listening live, we would love to hear from you. You can reach out to us at 877-927-6648. If you're listening live between eight and nine and you can't call in, you can always send me an email. Send it to steve at tfnn.com and inside the uh, subject heading, please put radio show question, of course, in our tigers that will any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network, I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. We begin the morning with the, our equity futures trading lower. The Dow futures are off by 116. NASDAQ 146, that's 1%. S&P 6 tenths or 27 points. Russell 7 points, about 4 tenths of a percent. Gold's off $5. Silver down 20 cents, that's 8 tenths. Platinum is off 17 bucks, nearly 1.5%. You've got light sweet crude trading out at 84.57. That's down 97 pennies. And a 30-year treasury is up one full point trading out at 155.57. 15. Let's go to our first caller. We've got Brent in Martinez, California, who's joining us early for tea and crumpets. Brent, how you doing? And thanks for calling. Oh, I'm doing great, Steve. How are you this morning? Very good. Uh, thanks so much. So the early bird is going to get the early worm out there. Is that early worm Netflix? Yeah, this is uh, here. We are another Friday. And of course, I like the I love Fridays for a lot of reasons. But uh, of course, because it's the last day of the for the options before they expire. Yes. In this case, they're monthlies, and I just, the thing that's intriguing me about Netflix is that if you bring it up, I mean, it's a pretty obvious AB equals CD pattern. And of where the thing's trading pre market, it would be a, it looks to me like a 1.618 expansion of that C to D leg, but you can take a look at it. And so I'm, sure. my thinking is I'm going to try to get some kind of, I'm sure it'll be down for the day, but just looking for some kind of bounce potentially out of it. So I'm going to be looking to pick up some calls, like maybe the four tens or something, to see if it can't bounce up to that level or beyond. And then, yeah, I expect it will still be down, but that's what I'm looking to do. So, okay. So if we take a look at Netflix, uh, in the pre-market, is trading out at 409.50 as we speak right now. As we go back to the three multi-time frame charts out here, 500.78 is the bottom of its monthly profile. Now, obviously, the month is not ending, but trading below that because we're below the bottom of the daily, below the bottom of the weekly. And now we potentially, you know, during the day could be below that 500.78 level, just something to take into consideration. Now, in the case of Netflix, there's uh, multiple A to B equals CD down patterns. I've drawn in what I think. And, and as the folks, as the as each candle gets generated each day, it provides us with additional information. Sometimes it provides us with the opportunity to change the A to B equals CD pattern. So I put in here the larger one, Brent. Uh, I, I understand the 1.618 expansion on the smaller one that you're looking at. Uh, but either way, whatever A to B equals CD pattern that we would put in place out here, we wouldn't get a confirmed bottoming signal, what I refer to as a buy the D point until we were to get a bullish reversal candle on a daily basis. So certainly in the pre-market, we don't we don't have that. Um, what we'll want to do in the case of Netflix is we'll look at my white background chart. So let's pull the, first, Brent, any questions about these black background charts? I, I'm assuming that you're able to see these in Tiger TV. Yeah, I can. There's a little delay, but no, I can. 
Okay. All right. So any question about the A to B equals C D pattern that I that I just recently drew in? No, you can go to the white chart. That's fine. Thank you, Steve. Perfect. Okay, great. So let's pull over Netflix. Let's look at those white charts. And on the daily time frame, so again, we're looking for, for signals. Uh, today, what we do have out here is um, wave number seven. That's letter G. So that's in place out here. But if we get a lower low today, um, sorry about that. If we get a lower low today, then that just extends itself. So that would be one potential bottoming signal. Uh, because of the A to B equals CD pattern, I'd be more inclined to be looking for that bullish reversal candle to confirm a uh, bottom. But that by that stage, that might get away from what your trading idea is. Um, <clears throat> so that's the only bottom signal that I have out here in the daily time frame. Brent, any questions about this chart before I go switch over to the weekly? No, I think that's good. Thank you, Steve. Okay. So on the weekly time frame, as we take a look at it for a bottom signal, price is trading below its breakout level. And if it does close this week below 5, 12, 30, that's going to suggest that it wants lower price out there. As I look at the monthly time frame chart, if it were to close below, we know it's trading right now below the bottom of that uh, monthly profile, that could signal that Netflix is getting is preparing to pull all the way back to the 290.25 level. Lastly, I'll look at a 30-minute time frame chart. And uh, as the uh, Netflix closed yesterday, it was bar number seven. So if you're looking for any type of an intraday signal out here, watch how this trades between 9 and 9.30. Uh, right now, it appears it's going to trade lower. That would be bar number eight. So I would be focused on the, for your specific need, I would be focused on that 30-minute time frame chart and look for some type of bottoming signal there. Where a counter trend move would take you to, and that's based on the current 30-minute profile, Brent, would be 518.22. So that would be the level you'd want to see price close above to then at least suggest a move to 525.44. So what additional information can I provide to you? It's a little hard for me to see on the charts, just some of the different you know figures on there. Is there anything down around that 400 level that would be you know some kind of an area that could be support or what's what, what are your charts showing? Nothing. Okay. Um, All right. Yeah. Unfortunately, the, the, yes. <laughs> okay. Good. That's that's good to know. So. I, I I take that back. The, the next potential level would be four eighty six twenty eight, and that is a TD nine count breakout area. So what you'd like to see here on a daily time frame is probably a TD nine count form next week uh, above that four eighty six twenty eight, and that might give you some options. But right now, that's the only support level I've got four eighty six twenty eight. Okay. Yeah, I'm just looking to do a day trade. I'm just sure. going to see if the thing doesn't get some kind of bounce. I know it's going to be down. It's, it's ugly. You know? But if it, there could be just some kind of, you know, the thing has enough movement in it that it could certainly have some kind of, you know, interim pop up a little bit, even if it's 10, 20 bucks, that's fine. Then I'm out. Absolutely. Okay, perfect. Hey, Brett, uh, thanks for uh, uh, kicking us off uh, from all the way out in California, folks, where it's uh, pretty early in the morning, I would say. And uh, always good to speak to you. So have a wonderful weekend, and uh, we'll look forward to speaking to you hopefully next week. All right. You do the same, Steve. Thanks so much for your help, and you take care. You bet. Let's go out to uh, Gary in New Buffalo, Michigan. Uh, Gary, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Hey, uh, well, you know, we got breath, we got hope, and we're giving it everything we got. How you doing, buddy? Good, good. Hey, hang on. We're going to go to a break here. We come back okay, uh, gotcha. with Gary. We're going to take a look at New Skin. Ticker symbol there is N-U-S. Steve Rhodes with TFNN and Gary in New Buffalo, Michigan. We'll be right back. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We're on the phone with Gary in New Buffalo, Michigan. We're taking a look at ticker symbol New Skin. NUS is the uh, ticker symbol out there, and uh, one of Gary's uh, one of Gary's uh, favorite stocks. So, Gary, how can I best help you this morning? Well, I'm a bit concerned. I mean, obviously, I've been you know uh, following along on the market downturn, and there's a lot of you know pressure down, and sure. it got beat up before when um, you know when it got hit, and I've got options, and so some of them expire in March, and I'm thinking of just trying to get out of them and then take it take it longer. I don't want to get caught in a a, a real significant downturn here again um, because it's made its way back to some good good you know to that number that we talked about a couple different times and had gone over it. Now it's gone back underneath it, so. Yeah. So <laughs> I think I, I don't I can't recall the last time that you and I spoke about uh, New Skin. But what I what I can share with you is on January 7th, what New Skin did for a daily time frame was it generated a TD nine count top. And uh, yesterday and the day before price closed below the bottom of its daily profile, which was fifty two nineteen. So two consecutive closes below that typically suggests that it's a real breakdown. Now that real breakdown should take price to 49.02. Now I do not know whether 49.02 will hold. That is its breakout support. That would be the key level of support. A dollar, you know, almost two dollars lower than where it closed last night. That would be then generating a signal for you that okay, there's something more seriously wrong. Stocks pulling back their breakout level, that's a normal thing. That's where you would be looking to buy the dip, so to speak. Now, what it doesn't look like is that price will get back to that 4902 level with some type of bottoming pattern or signal out there. But still, it is a bottoming pattern to pull back to support. So 4902 is the daily time frame level that you would be watching for. Uh, I, can you see this? Uh, can you see the chart? Uh, are you watching us on Tiger TV or are you going to pick up the archive? I'm going to pick up the archive. Okay. All right. So that's the that's the first level. Yeah, that's the first level for you to pay attention to. Now, the weekly time frame chart also generated a TD nine count. Now that was two weeks ago, and that was right at the uh, breakdown resistance level of fifty three eighty three, and um, so this is suggesting forty eight twenty eight. So the two price target areas are, are forty eight twenty eight and 4902 so that would be kind of the you know the area that you'd be really keeping an eye on. Um, 
And on a monthly, and, but everything right now looks like it wants to move lower out here. With regard to the monthly time frame, I don't really have any signals there that are going to help us on a 30 minute uh, chart. But we're going to look at a, a signal. I don't really see anything here that's assisting us as well. So I don't know what it's doing in the pre market, but uh, it does look like it's going to go target that 4902 area out there. I don't know if that's what you want to hear, but that's what the charts are at least communicating to you. Hey, whatever you have for me is what I want to hear, because you're the man. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, uh, let me just see where it is trading in the uh, pre-market here real quickly, see if it's uh, getting uh, hit uh, much. Uh, new skin, NUS. NUS is trading right now. Last trade fired up at 51.21, but the size of two. So, uh, yeah, so there's not any intraday information really to help us out here. So, Gary, is there anything else that I can provide to you? You know, um, uh, since we're on a roll, and I love talking to you, and you make my day when I do get a chance to talk to you. Um, oh, you're too kind. I would, too uh, kind. No, it's true. Um, I would, um, and if you look at uh, Palantir, I know a lot of people are in it, and I've been uh, moving more and more into it. Um, I'm not much right now. I'm waiting to try to make sure it really bottoms and, and then go from there. But I am looking to make a long-term position uh, more and more into that stock. Okay, so the only uh, signal, let me see what we have out here. You do have a TD9 count bottom signal that took place not yesterday, but the day before. And if price closes below that low, that low is 1454. That's suggesting that it wants lower price. Right now, as I take, so it's really kind of neutral, but more leaning more bearish out here because what we saw take place yesterday was price moved up, tested and rejected that red oscillator and change line that tells us we have a price oscillator below zero that is falling and that is a bearish signal out there. So the daily time frame has some potential, but see how it trades today. And what you'd really like to see at a minimum before I would enter this trade is a close above that oscillator and change line. So right now that's printed at 1524. That's what I would be looking at there. Otherwise, it looks like Palantir could uh, get all the way back to its IPO, which is in the 890 type range, 890 to 11-ish, and you're at 1462. So right now what I would do if I were you is I'd just be patient on this. I wouldn't take a, a long trade at this stage. Sounds great. You be well, my dear friend, and uh, make it a, you, make it a great day. Okay. You too. You too. Okay. That was Gary New Buffalo, Michigan. Thanks so much for calling. Let's go to our next caller. It is John in Philly. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing this morning? Steve, I am very good. I... Uh I suspect you're doing the same, doing the early show. You've got uh, good things going the rest of the day and the weekend, I'm guessing. Yeah, you know, I've got a bunch of uh, – all next week I'm going to do the early show as well. I've got some family coming in town, and uh, so, uh, you know, 1 o'clock in the afternoon could uh, screw up, you know, lunches, things like that. So uh, so you're going to get me at 8 o'clock in the morning for the next, uh, you know, today and then all of next week out there. Which is nice. I like it. I'm up early and it's great. And, and yeah, it gives you the freedom in the day. But uh, I know you called to talk about the 30-year treasury. So uh, how can I bet? What information can I provide you with? Uh, first background, Steve, um, I checked my records. The last time I traded the long bond futures was April of 2021. So it's been um, nine, ten months. Yeah, perfect. You, you, you know me. Uh, I look to trade markets. Uh, where I can envision intermediate term rallies or declines. And over these past 10 months, 11 months, uh, I have listened intently and um, at, from uh, trading and speculating on the short side, the bear side, mm -hmm. uh, I have to give kudos to Larry Pezzavento, who uh, trades these actively and has found every tradable top. On the other hand, uh, I also have to give kudos to Tom O'Brien, who has found every tradable bottom. Got to love uh, that. So if you're looking to uh, trade either way, I found both those individuals been spot on in being patient and waiting for the direction they're looking for. <clears throat> for right. me, uh, with the long bond having traded in a range in the past year of 167 down to 153, uh, I have been clueless as to the intermediate term. So uh, that's the background. What I observe, as we all have observed just this week, the uh, active bond futures contract, ZBH2, that March bond, 
went down and hit a low of 153. Mm-hmm. That is an exact double bottom with the March 2021 low. So it's very obvious we did that, and we've bounced, you know, a point or two, two and a half, actually. Uh, so scalp traders uh, could see what to do, uh, and, and I could as well. Uh, but as I said, I haven't traded it. My question to you, Steve, is this decline into the low this week at 153 area? Is there anything showing up on your daily, weekly, monthly charts that says an important decline is completing and now we're gonna do something else like rally a bunch? Perfect, great question. We're gonna answer that question as soon as we come back from this break. So please rejoin us in just about three or four minutes. This is Steve Rhodes with John in Philly, taking a look at the 30 year treasury. We'll be right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We're on the line with John and Philly. We're taking a look at the 30-year Treasury, trying to understand what it's communicating to you and I. So one of the uh, time frames that uh, John had mentioned was March of 2021. And uh, we're taking a look at the very bottom left-hand panel chart. That was bar number eight, John, of a TD9 count. It did complete that TD9 count in April of 2021. Uh, and that led to a uh, bounce. Uh, why did it find resistance where it did? Uh, I'm not sure. But it did find resistance at that area. And but price, what price did do on a monthly basis, the month of July, the month of August, we had two consecutive closes above the top of that profile. So typically, 
when you close above the top of a, and this is a bullish structured profile. Well, I take that back. So, so price is pulled back into this profile and it's found support where it should have found support. And it's really a range, John. The range was between 150.26 and 153.05. The low so far this month is 153.07. So if you're asking me the, a question, is there a possibility that price is pulled back to a support area, that would be the support area in the range that we would look at. Any questions about that so far? Got it so far. Perfect. Now, this set of charts that we're looking at, folks, in order for me to get market profiles, I have to use a synthetic version of the symbol that stitches together all of the futures contracts, and it does a better yeah. job of doing that and maintaining it as profiles versus using a continuous contract. Sometimes when that occurs out here, we can get different profiles. And what I'm referring to is the daily time frame right now. And this is where sometimes there's a little bit of a confusion out here. But on a daily basis, what price is doing right now, whereas the monthly was trading into the support level of a bullish structured profile, the daily, when I use a synthetic contract, is trading into the resistance zone of its daily time frame. And that's between 155.24 and 156.28. So typically you wouldn't, you know, enter a new position as you're moving into resistance, although that's the zone out there. But so that's one zone that you're taking a look at. Any questions about the daily upper left-hand panel chart? So far, so good. Okay. Now I'm going to switch over and take a look at the actual March contract. And here's where you get kind of the fly in the financial ointment, so to speak. In fact, that's, this is great because I didn't realize I had a both on this set of charts here. I've got both the synthetic version of the symbol, right-hand side. You can again see that profile versus the left-hand side, which is the March contract. I know somebody's going to ask me which one is right. I have to go with both are right out here. What are they communicating to us? First, if price is able to close above uh, 15506. We're trading 15511 right now. For the March contract, price gets back into its profile. And that would then suggest, John, that price should move up to 15612. We know that the top of the synthetic contract is 15628. So there's the possibility that we would get a further rally. Now, before I go to the intraday charts to see what's going on and what levels might have to be taken out in order to get to that rally, any question about now these two side by side charts? Uh, no, but I do have a comment to interject, please. Please, right ahead. Go right ahead. You uh, describe you showed data uh, for the synthetic um, uh, stitched together contract and the most active, yes. and uh, you uh, asked the question that I know you've received all the time from a great many of your clients, and that is, okay, which one is right? Uh, uh, my comment here has to do with that question. Neither is right nor wrong. That's so important to understand. And how you use that uh, idea was taught to me by a former bond futures floor trader, a guy who back in the 80s and 90s was a teacher of mine. His name was Rich Peterson. And he... Uh, describe the concept of using the market laboratory. And by that, he meant doing calculations, however it is you, you, uh, you do it. And there are a myriad of tools. And you've got a bunch of tools. And sure. Basil Chapman has uh, talked the concept very well over the years of his Sears and Roebuck, Roebuck uh, toolbox of technical analytical tools. And the way Rich Peterson uh, succeeded as a trader was by developing technical tools, coming up with price points, time points, and then observing in real time what market action, what price action is actually doing. And sure. if price action rallies or declines into a calculated figure, stops, turns, and reverses, You've got actionable intelligence there. Or if it busts through something, you've also got actionable intelligence there. So um, uh, technical indicators are never right nor wrong. They're just tools. 
So, um, so thank you. Uh, sorry to take so much time. No, no, no. It's, it's. I think it's great. You know, and, and uh, each each person that calls in and shares information with us is so valuable to to the listener base out there. So, so we all appreciate that. And and with regard to that Sears and Roebuck uh, tool, I always did like Craftsman tools. Thought they were well built out here. If we switch over to that actionable information. Regardless of which profile is correct out here, when we take a look at the daily time frame, that's going to be chart number two from the right-hand side, the upper uh, level, we can see that price is also testing that red oscillator and change line. And what we can see here, John, is price has been uh, – it's tested it uh, and rejected it a couple of times. Uh, so if and right now, price is trading above that level. So if there is a close above what I would say 155.06 right now, that is a then a suggestion of at least a further – retracement higher, a further move higher out there. The level that the 30-minute time frame chart tells us that price needs to close above to suggest that it's rally on to the upside is going to be 151.21. And that is the TD9 count threshold resistance level that was created because of the TD9 count pattern. So the two levels to be watching today, I'd say would be 151.21. John, if there's a close above that, uh, that suggests that we should see a move higher that move higher could be between 155.24 and 156.12 out there, and that's that's the uh, that's what the charts are communicating to us. Does Steve, that thanks help? Thanks so much. You? One last question before I yes. jump. Look at that weekly chart, the one week chart on your eight panel series. Yep. I see an A B C D down. Looks like it's completing. I see a Chapman wave leg D. Remember Basil's rule about going to at least a D. Yep. And uh, what else do I see? Uh, uh, well, I see those and ask the question, do those suggest, oh, and I also see you've got the candlestick charts. I see a potential hammer candle. Uh, does that suggest bottom and an important one at that? Uh, it, it does suggest a bottom. So it does. I've, I've, I've drawn in just the A to B leg and then I move that over to the C to D leg. So you're absolutely correct. You've got that. And uh, because last week's candle was a doji, uh, candle out there. Whether it's a hammer, if price just simply closes above last week's high, you'd at least get a, or last week's uh, uh, open and close out there, you at least would have a bullish engulfing candle. So, yes, if at the uh, day's end we get that bullish reversal candle, that would be a uh, signal of a bottom. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Steve. I'll, I'll hop. You bet. John, thanks so much for calling. That was John in uh, Philly. And uh, so let's go to, uh, we've got just about 15 seconds out here. Let me see, you know, there was a question to take a look at Exxon Mobil. So let me just at least get back to the charts out. In fact, two questions that came in this morning. And uh, so let me get the uh, three panel charts up on our screen. XOM is a ticker symbol. And uh, so we'll take a look at this when we get back from the break. Of course, we're gonna look at Exxon Mobil. We'll go take a look at Lightspeed Crude as well. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, both uh, David in Tomball, Texas, and Hector and Patty, our fuel injectors, want to take a look at uh, Exxon Mobil. So first, let's do this. Let's take a look at uh, Lightsweet Crew. That's what we've got on our chart panels out here. And I've got the uh, uh, f uh, the daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly profile levels. Now, Lightsweet Crew just rolled over into its uh, March contract out here. And so I believe that, and I do have different profiles for the March contract versus the synthetic version that we have out here. When we roll over, I'm more comfortable saying that the profile that is uh, more significant to us is the one in the upper left hand corner here's what we know we know that uh, there's a, there's an a to b equal cd to the upside there's no bearish reversal candle and price is stalled it's just consolidating with inside its daily profile that range is between 83.18 and 87.10 so it actually formed last night now if i pull over the white background chart what we're also going to see is that price has held support and the key level for it is this green oscillator and change line, or it could be red at times. Right now it's green. What that tells us is that the price oscillator, which is the difference between the 19 and 39 period exponential moving average, uh, that it is above zero. Now, because the line is green, that tells me it's above zero. When price is above a green line, it tells us we have a rising price oscillator above zero. So that's what we've got out here. And so support has definitely held. If price were to close below 8284, well, one, we'd be below that green oscillator and change line. We'd be below the bottom of that daily profile. And that would suggest a further retracement. That's not what we have at the moment. So it's really kind of uh, neutral to bullish would be its signals out here. There is resistance to the upside beyond the daily profile. And that's on the quarterly profile. And that's 8903. And if price is able to close above 8903, boy, that's going to suggest that, uh, well, it's suggest you could run all the way back to 220 bucks. That's not what I'm calling out here, but that's what it would suggest to both you and I. So now let's go take a look at ExxonMobil, which is certainly going to trade off of uh, Lightspeed Crew. And we take a look at ExxonMobil. Price is above the top of its daily profile, which is down at 69.50. It's trade or closed at 73.27. It's above the weekly. It's above the monthly profile. So ExxonMobil also looks bullish. The weekly has an A to B equals C to the upside. That's the center panel. Price is on the left hand side of the C to D leg. Tells us about a very strong upward momentum move. So Lightspeed Crew, I'm sorry, ExxonMobil should be making its way up to the 76.12 level. I'm not saying it does that today, but that should be its next 
target. If I pull over the white background charts out here for Exxon Mobil, again, we're looking for any kind of a topping signal. Instead, what we have is a momentum signal. And what I mean by that is the trading day of January 14th, that generated a TD9 count top. And it didn't even have a hiccup because the very next day just took out that high, closed above it. Tells us about a strong momentum move to the upside. Now, you didn't need me to tell you that, but that's what the technical signals are communicating to us. So no topping signal at this moment on a daily time frame for ExxonMobil, nor is there one on a weekly basis. Yes, price is moving higher, doing less relative energy, but that requires a bearish reversal candle to confirm a road's momentum indicator top. So nothing on the weekly at this stage and certainly nothing on the uh, monthly. So ExxonMobil looks like over time wants to continue to move higher. And uh, sorry about that, folks. I've had uh, all kinds of problems with things uh, technically. Uh, now I got the TV on for some reason. And okay, so I got that up if you were picking up that sound. So Exxon Mobile here looks uh, very, very good. So Hector and uh, David, uh, thanks so much for writing in. I do hope that that helps you out. Now, one of the things I haven't done, there are a couple more questions that are in here. Uh, but one of the things that I haven't had a chance to do today, at least this morning, is to take a look at what's going on inside the equity futures. Because people are trying to understand, I'm sure, hey, what are these markets uh, doing or what are they getting prepared to do out here? So let's do this. Yes. Um, first, let's go take a look at the uh, daily time frame charts. Now, we're going to do it uh, several different ways because I really do think we want to spend some time trying to understand what the markets are communicating to us. So first, we'll just simply start with the daily time frame. And here we take a look at the ES mini. We'll really take a look at all four of these contracts. The only one that has a potential for a bottoming signal comes from the Russell 2000. So that's where an area where you should be focused today. Uh, if you're listening in at 1 o'clock, uh, 146 in the afternoon, this is an area to be taken a look at. Why? Because if there were to be a bullish reversal candle that could confirm a road's momentum indicator bottom there are no other bottoming signals for the es the nq or the dow now each of them have a to b equals cd down patterns if we were to see some type of bullish reversal candle today then that would confirm a buy the d point if you look at the dow it's also during change line change colors yesterday went from green to red typically when the colors change we see price and that oscillator and change line catch up to each other now it's more likely to happen when we get a bottoming signal so that would require that bullish reversal candle. Short of that, that would suggest that price wants to get back and test those December lows out there. The NQ, when we take a look at it, uh, it's trading below its breakout level. It's really two breakout levels, 14,785 or 14,723. So watch that level. If price regains that today, that's going to make us say, hmm, something to think about. If it generates a bullish reversal candle, that's going to then confirm a Gartley buy pattern, or at least a buy the D point out there. Um, and uh, and then that would then suggest a move back up to its oscillator and change line, about the 15378-ish area out here. Back to the ES Mini, no bottom signal here. In fact, based upon yesterday's close, uh, it would suggest to move back to 4348. But here again, if there's a bullish reversal candle that forms, then um, that would suggest a buy the D point. And here, price would move up to its oscillator and change line, which we expect to occur uh, because it also changed colors a couple of days ago. But we don't expect that to occur until we get that confirming bottom signal. That's coming from the daily time frames. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to switch over and we'll do the deep dive into our eight panel charts for, let's start with the ES Mini. So we begin with the ES Mini. And here what you've got, so right now, uh, well, on the monthly chart, we're still a ways away from the monthly time frame out here. But price is below that green oscillator and change. Now, I'll just expand out the chart here. If it does close below that, that's signaling to you and I that we could see a move back to the 3720 level over time. Remember, remember the early part of, or the end of the year, I had mentioned uh, several times about all the TD9 count tops that have formed on an annual basis, on a yearly basis out here. Not really annual, but on a yearly chart out there. That was suggesting to you and I that we could see a one to three year pullback. That's still absolutely in play out here. And at the ES Mini, close below that oscillator and change line, currently at 45.42, at the end of the month, you'll be given the first signal that that is a likely outcome. And you can see you've got a TD9 count pattern here for the monthly time frame, as well as having it for the yearly time frame. On a weekly basis out here, you've got a confirmed roads momentum indicator top. This suggests moves back to 4126. Over time, the daily time frame, we've really kind of covered that. There is an A to B equals CD to the downside. A bullish reversal candle would then give us that bounce up in that oscillator and change line, approximately 4614. Is that a possibility today that we get a bounce? Well, that's where we go to this intraday time frame chart. So on the 30-minute chart out here, you've got a confirmed roads momentum indicator bottom. 
Um, and uh, so then only if price were to close below 44.39.75, would that say, eh, maybe no uh, real potential bounce here. If I look at the 60-minute time frame, you've got a TD9 count top. Now, the 60-minute time frame, what's cool about that is it clearly shows us why price stopped where it did earlier this morning. And that is at the center of its bullish structured profile. Why was that an area? Because at the center of a profile, you have both buyers and sellers. And price stopped right there. And so sellers have the upper hand. And what that means to us is if price does close about 44.76, that's going to suggest then, okay, buyers have got the upper hand. And that could take price to 45.45. So in summary, the intraday charts have bottoming signals. There is potential out here for a bounce. Um, and that's really all Stevie's got, I'd say, in the ES Mini. The key level to watch today, 4476 out there. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So we mentioned that the Russell 2000 is the uh, is is one of the futures contracts to really pay attention to because it's the one that, from a daily standpoint, is the 
one that would be most likely to produce a uh, bullish reversal, well, a, a bottoming signal today. Uh, not whether it's today, because it's got the Rhodes momentum indicator signal. The others have that A to B equals CD to the downside. Uh, they also need bullish reversal candles. But if we take a look at the intraday charts here, that's really what we're focused on. You do see uh, bottoming patterns out here. The day, the 60 minutes got a TD9 count. The 30 minutes got a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. Uh, the uh, 240's got a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. So does the five-hour time frame chart out here. But you can see that price is below the oscillator and change lines for the five-hour and four-hour time frame charts out here. If price were to close above 2033.30 today, that would then suggest a further move higher. So that's the level that I would be watching there. If we switch over real quickly and take a look at the Dow. Now, the Dow is a holding so far, at least it was earlier when I last looked at it. It was holding the bottom of its weekly profile. Now, that's not going to be shown on this set of charts out here, but it's at a key level of support. Uh, the daily time frame, as we've talked about, needs a bullish reversal candle. Uh, here on the intraday charts, the 30-minute has a uh, uh, Rhodes momentum indicator bottom, TD9 count on the 60, uh, Rhodes momentum indicator bottoms for the 4-hour and the 5-hour time frame chart. So watch those oscillator and change lines about the 34.740 level. If price can overcome that, uh, then that's going to suggest a further rally. In fact, it could suggest a rally up to about 35.232. And just to finish this off, we'll take a look at uh, the uh, NQ out here. That way you've got everything to uh, look at. Again, and thanks for listening at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. And all next week, we're going to do the same thing. What's the level that the NQ needs to close above to suggest a uh, run higher, a further move higher? I'd say 14861 Price gets about 14861. You can see a move to 15245. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien is up next if you're listening at nine. And if you're listening at one, it's it's uh, David White, our favorite polar bear. So have a fantastic Friday, a wonderful weekend, and I'll look forward to seeing you bright and early Monday morning for tea and crumpets at uh, about 806 a.m. Take care, folks. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.